my dear students though i have already explained certain words while dealing with the lessons you do not have book in your hand so i have given you the glossary that is given in the book it is given shrug shrug meaning raise one shoulder slightly and momentarily tunic a loose outer garment without sleeve slackened meaning reduced dimana appearance and behavior artless innocent hawk self thinks crying out loudly going from place to place deserted and inhabited unoccupied emigrate take up citizenship of another country vexation annoyance vestibule lobby chatter a series of short quick high pitched sound intrude to enter without permission rubble broken bricks my dear students in the examination we have three synonyms and three antonyms if we are thorough with synonyms and antonyms we can easily get six marks so both the synonyms and antonyms have been given for certain word these words will be useful will be right in the examination come let us see what it is artless synonym innocent antonym guileful beside synonyms alongside opposite for bought synonym purchased antonym sold brisk synonym quick antonym slow nobility synonym dignity opposite dishonor paused synonym delay up antonym continued persuaded induced or insisted uh, 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 antonym dissuaded probed rested opposite discourage synonym provoked aroused and unprovoked or unexcited resistant fighting struggle opposite cooperation rubble broken bricks valuable errand a shot of odd jobs okay odd jobs gazing looking steadily abhor antonyms glaring starting with anger concealed hawk sold opposite bought humble modest poor inferior opposite luxury superior imagined speculated guess and imagined intrude enter without permission leave okay, students in the same way there are some words have been given words like no nobility persuaded proved provoked uh, resistance scarce scarcely shabby slackened vexation wild own these are all very important uh, words these words may be asked for synonyms and the antonyms of these words can be asked please note it my dear students in the book there are some questions have been given and not only those questions i have given you i have also given you the answers for the question i thought of giving you only the questions but there may not be any use in giving only the question paper question so i have given you the questions and answers for example uh, who did the narrator meet at the at the outskirts of verona the narrator met the two boys selling wild strawberries at the outskirts of verona why did the driver not uh, approve of narrator buying fruits from the boys like this the questions have been given uh, see uh, look at all the questions and make a note of it uh, please do remember even if you do not have a book with you especially english book with you remember your studies should not be uh, failed
So th that is why you have a notebook with you and make a note of it. Remember to have the notebook for English separately. Later we will be dealing with the grammar exercises. We will do it slowly. My dear students, most of the three more questions have uh, will be is likely to, to be taken from this uh, part. So these are the three more questions. Three, uh, describe the appearance of Nicola and Jacoba, very important question. What were the various jobs undertaken, very often asked questions. And how did the narrator help the boys on Sunday, recently asked question. Who took the author to the cubicle? Describe the girl with whom the boys were talking to the in the cubicle. All those things, please uh, note down the answers, my dear students. Please remember, you do not have contact book with you. So make use of this video, go slowly and take a note of it. In the book, the exercises have been given like read the following words taken from the story. Give two synonyms and one antonym for each of these words. Use a dictionary if required is the exercises we have been given in the book. And the, word, uh, the words are cautious, disapprove, brisk, engaging, humble, eager, re resistance, persuade, scars, nobility, all those things. My dear students, the synonyms of these words have been given and the antonym uh, of these words have been given. Please make a note of it so that you can write the examinations well. My dear students, homophones and confusable words are not something new to us. In the first unit, we have been given uh, uh, exercises uh, like uh, given below is a list of common confusables. Distinguish the meaning of each pair words framing your own sentence. Uh, again, I thought of giving you only the answers, but there may not be use. Uh, some people may not know the answer. That is why I have given you answered uh, exercise. Please make a note of it. My dear students, you have been asked to fill up, fill in the blanks of uh, Homophones. See, for uh, valet, you have valet, fairy, fairy, medal, medal, weight, weight, yoke, yoke, grow, grow, earn, earn, code, code, desert, desert, night, night, sweet, sweet, plain, plain, might, might, quiet, quiet. So make a note of it. Here, my dear students, you know what a verb is. Verb uh, in a simple word, it is an action word. Now, what do you mean by phrasal verb? Phrase meaning more than one word. So, phrase meaning more than one word. If you say phrasal verb, which means it is a verb. It, remember, it is a single verb, but it has got more than one word. Uh, so, you can call it either two words verb or uh, three words. Uh, uh, it is a single word, single verb, but it has got uh, more than one word. For example, get into, cut off, come upon, put up, put out, draw up, go on, carry on, pass out. Take off, turn away, turn out, stand by. There are plenty, thousands of phrasal verbs in English. In our lesson, there have been some uh, phrasal verbs have been uh, taken. And let us uh, see all those things. The meaning is different. For example, if we say cut off, meaning is to remove. The telephone wire is cut off. Come upon, to meet unexpectedly. I came upon an old friend in the street today. Put out meaning uh, you put out, you stop uh, the fan uh, for a stop or extinguish. I took three hours to put out the fire. So put out to extinguish or to stop the fire. Draw up to arrange in order. They began to draw up plans for their first home. Pass out, distribute. Uh, like, uh, you know, this, uh, give away, distribute. Uh, we'll pass out copies of the agenda. 
take off, depart from the ground. Uh, the plane will take off in a minute. Turn away, reject. Hard times are forcing community colleges to turn away students. Stand by the support uh, to support an idea or a person. I will stand by you whatever happens. Bank on to depend on. You can bank on him to get job done quickly. So, there may be some change in the meaning in the phrasal verb. Good. Take a, take a note. My dear students, this is not something new to you. Uh, prefix and suffix. Pre meaning before and uh, suffix you add a word after the root word is called suffix you add a word before the root word is called prefix. So you have been studying since your fourth standard. Now in our book some exercises have been given uh, for prefix and suffix. You have I think two marks for this uh, exercise. The exercises will be given later. Uh, let us see what has been given in the book. Patient, prefix, impatient. Suffix, patiently. Honor, prefix, dishonor. Suffix can be honorable. Respect, prefix, disrespect. Uh, suffix can be respectable. Manage, mismanage, or uh, management is a suffix. Mismanage is a prefix. Fertile, infertile is the prefix and fertility is the suffix. Different, indifferent is the prefix and different is the suffix. Friend, befriend is the prefix and friendship is the suffix. Obey, disobey is the prefix and obedience is the suffix. Okay students, make a note of it. Here my dear students, we are going to learn what note making. See, you have been given the answer how the notes, note making was done. There should be always a headline and you should have uh, subtitles. Among the subtitles, you should have inner titles. Uh, see, you see how it has been made. This is the way uh, note making should be done while you are uh, presenting in the uh, examination paper. Only then you are likely to get good marks. My dear students, I have given you the paragraph of the prose. It is an ideal one. I have taken from uh, notes I think. Come on, let us see. What message is conveyed through the story? Two gentlemen of Verona. First, you should write the title, author, and theme. Selfless sacrifice of Kipling. Remember, in two gentlemen, whenever you write two gentlemen, make sure you write M E N. Many a student make the mistake M A N. Two is a plural, so there cannot be gentlemen. It's supposed to be gentlemen. So, my dear, mind it. Two gentlemen of Verona. Come, let us see the paragraph. A.J. Cronin wrote this memoir, memoir meaning the experience, uh, memory. After visiting Verona, the title of the short story is inspired by a popular Shakespeare's play. Nevertheless, the main idea of the author is to underline the virtues that make a man a real man. The story captures the sentiment that true humanity is not about letting go and it is about courage and determination. The two young gentlemen of Verona face their difficulties head on without a single complaint. When the author tried to tell them they were working too much, they simply said, they have no complaint. Their love and the emotional strength are truly commentable. The boy's maturity and a sense of responsibility are also praiseworthy. The author says that in both the boy's face and there was a serious 
seriousness which was which was far beyond their age these boys display exemplary courage amidst extreme poverty and devastation the author man- manages to find the real inspiration from their life so this is the paragraph i have given you if you want you can make a note of it 